All right, guys, welcome back to another one here on the channel. Um, I like to do these kind of videos. I did it with the Fiesta. I might have done it with the Fabia. Anyway, it's a three month review of my Clio 197. Now, I just want to start the video by saying this is the first car that I've had that I truly want to just keep. Like, it is so much fun. To most people, it's a clear clear. I understand that. Um, but to me, it is something special. And obviously, what, I'm, what I plan to do to the car is going to be nuts. Absolutely nuts. So, there's going to be about three or four main points in this video. Economy, because if you know me, my 335i crippled me. So, this is a two litre naturally aspirated car. How is it on fuel? And then the fun stuff, power, comfort, which is actually quite a big thing for any car. Like you want to be comfortable, you want to feel, because it's all well and good, the car looking good on the outside, but you sit on the inside, so is it comfortable? And the fourth point, any problems I've had now, obviously that'll be specific to me, but it may help you looking out for your uh, next car. Hopefully you, you enjoy, if you do leave a like, subscribe, comment your thoughts, any suggestions, any improvements, let's crack on with point number one, which was economy. Two litre, naturally aspirated car, it's good. I will be honest, I don't, I don't drive very far. I'll do maybe a thousand miles a month if I'm lucky. No, it can't be a thousand miles a month. I don't know, but between 500 and a thousand. It costs around 70 quid to put in a full tank where I am. And it lasts for, if I'm good, two weeks. I could make it last three weeks. Very good car, yeah, compared to the uh, 335 I which I had for two weeks and cost me £400 in, in fuel. That's the boring stuff over with. Um, point number two was power, I think. Two litre naturally aspirated car. I've just come back from Greece, yeah, and this car is covered in cobwebs. It's making me feel a bit ill. And it is disgusting. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. It is disgusting. Maybe I'll do a cleaning video. I'm not very good at cleaning my cars. Um, as a wasp. Just trying to record and I almost got killed by a wasp. I'm not very good at cleaning my cars um, to the point where I can't be bothered to clean them. But yeah. Back to the point. Power. Um, it is perfect. So it's a 197, which means it's one, 197 horsepower. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a video talking about it in specific, but I have fitted the... Uh, Miltec non-res cat back which might add a bit of power i doubt it but yeah l l l let's just say it's a 200 horsepower car it's perfect it the, the way that it goes through the gears is perfect the ratios are beautiful they're so engaging but to drive it sensibly is more than possible but like on a cu country road it is so engaging and like the handling as well i should probably touch on that the suspension this is on st standard suspension no um spaces nothing the way it handles is perfect the standard car like apart from the exhaust it's a standard car it is amazing i'm really impressed like, now there is talks um in my head about a 225 swap which i will do video one all together it could do with a bit more power if you're being picky like it is perfect as it is it is fun i say 300 horsepower might, might be a bit too much like 250 to 275 would be the sweet spot so this hasn't got the recaro cs seats um it's got the standard seats they are a bit a bit a bit worn the steering wheel is a bit worn the gear stick is in nice condition is it a comfortable car it's a very comfortable car your seat in position is quite high like compared to other cars like that's my eye line like i'm quite high up and the seat's all the way down but that's not actually a bad thing because it means you're more engaged i know it sounds it sounds daft and when you first get in clios you hate it i remember my mark ii i sat like a monster truck does that make sense i sat up high and yeah i wasn't a fan of it but over time you do actually start to enjoy it and understand it i do want recaro cs seats and i will probably be lowering the rails as well like you can get like a custom rail i don't know it's nice for now and like they hug you really well like the side bolsters are really good like as, as i said this seat's quite worn and it, it hugs me nice i've never had a problem like um falling out steering wheel's nice i'll put on this plaque which is good otherwise it's just like an open bit gear stick's good it feels nice everything's just where you want it to be and for a sporty hatchback it's good you know like i really do enjoy it the only problem i've got is the cruise control is over here it's such a daft place but that's not the end of the, the the world now what problems have i had um to be fair i've only had one well can't kind of two so it's between two things and maybe i could do with your, your help with understanding what one it is as i said i fitted the um exhaust and where it connects to the cat it's not a perfect connection now it could be that i've had an, an engine light come on a couple of times 
and it's gone into um, limp mode. But then you either turn it on and off again, you turn it off and on again, or you just carry, carry on driving and the uh, engine light goes. So it's either that or this. So since I fitted the exhaust, as I said, I'm gonna do a whole video, it had a flat spot. And apparently if you cable tie this down, it tries to prevent the uh, flat spot. It has worked, but it's still not perfect. I think that's the math sensor, maybe? I don't know. But yeah, if anyone knows what that problem could be, it like, loses power, engine light starts flashing, and then it just goes, then it ca ca carries on. It's been a really good good car, and I'm really looking forward to what this car brings for, for me and for the channel. Hopefully, you've enjoyed. If you have, leave a like and subscribe. Comment your thoughts, any suggestions, any improvements, and hopefully, I'll see you again. Cheers.